I found a sick and injured animal inside of a trash pile. Who knows what kind of creature could be lurking around and living in the trash pile. We Ugh, it smells really bad right now. Look, do you see that? Right there, look, look in the bushes, it's moving. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those of you that are new here, well I'm Jacob. This right here is Theo Jr. my capuchin monkey and welcome back to my channel. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that we found a sick and injured animal inside of a trash pile while I was out python hunting. I went out yesterday afternoon in search of pythons and just really to get out away from my property out into the Everglades to enjoy nature. And all I'm going to say is I found a sick and injured animal inside of a trash pile. It really is sad. This was a native animal, but that is all I'm going to tell you guys. So if you want to know what kind of animal this is, what the heck is going on with it, how this animal is, if he is going to make it, well, you guys are in the right place and we're going to hop right into today's video. So I'm getting ready to head out to go python hunting and we have our trusty python hunting bin in the truck. Now I ha keep this bin in the truck for any pythons that we find or any other crazy critters and creatures because you never know what you're going to find out in the Everglades. But if we do find invasive pythons, unfortunately we are going to have to humanely euthanize these snakes. Because they're an invasive species, we're not allowed to rehome them. And in Florida, they're actually prohibited species. It's something that I hate doing, but by removing these invasive species, we're actually participating in real conservation that's actually making a difference in my very own backyard, which is something that's really cool, something that I always strive to do. But besides invasive pythons, we've got invasive chameleons, we've got basilisk lizards, we have all kinds of stuff. And specifically in this area, it is a dumping ground for animals. We find all kinds of crazy critters and creatures dumped. A buddy of mine a couple nights ago was out and he actually found in the exact area that we are headed, he actually found a pit bull dog with a collar and a leash attached to it, dumped and left for dead. So we never know what the heck we're gonna find. Obviously the target species is invasive pythons, but we could find dump dogs, abandoned kittens, or just any other kind of animal. This is where they do the Santeria voodoo. So let's stop talking about it and I'm gonna head over. One hour later. So I just got over here to the first spot of the day and already the first thing, wait, the first thing that I notice is the canal is filled with trash. The canal water line is pretty low right now. And you can see that we are surrounded by all of these palm farms here. And in these palm farms, there's python nests, there's caimans, there's all kinds of invasive species. There's also native species. But it's a shame to see all kinds of fish and other animals inside of the canal right now having to live with soda cans and plastic and this just goes for miles on end. But really the main reason why I am here and why I stopped at this spot is because we were here a couple of years ago. We filmed a video right here at this trash pile we actually rescued. It was either on this side or the other side. There's two different trash piles here. If you guys watch this video right here, we actually rescued a baby squirrel with neurological issues from this trash pile. These trash piles attract animals because people put food in them and they put all kinds of stuff in here and the animals would go through the trash piles foraging and searching for food so again we've already found food we've got an old pringles container so who knows what kind of creature could be lurking around and living in the trash pile we got everything from oil we've got we got tires we've got bins we've got a dog food bag um, but luckily there's no foul smells here. I'm not smelling anything too bad But if you guys look at this, it's just really sad to see all of this trash here But what I'm listening for is I'm listening for rustling on the leaves If we be really quiet We can hear if there's anything lurking around actually walking because every step on the leaves if you guys hear right here if You guys listen every step on the leaves makes kind of a crunching noise I found a squirrel here last time who knows if we're gonna find anything here. We've got some burned debris here, but I don't wanna to get too much into this because this is really disgusting, gross stuff. So I'm gonna to tiptoe through the fire pit because I wanna come look right over here at these bins and what's inside because sometimes animals will drink water out of these. Because sometimes finding water is hard this time of year even though it's been raining. So gross, but oh my, there's a duck. There's a duck right here. I literally just thought that this was a real duck, but it's a stuffed animal. So we got a stuffed animal duck. But I am not seeing anything here. Before I leave from here, I want to lift up this chair because everything else is pretty flat. But something could be living underneath this chair. And nothing at all. Let's really lift the whole thing up. Didn't see any animal under here. So we didn't find anything in this trash pile here. Now, I wasn't really expecting to find any pythons there. I was really looking for other critters. 
but we didn't find anything we were unsuccessful but I have another spot a spot that's kind of creepy to go to it's a spot where people actually where I found pythons there and caimans but people will actually do voodoo sacrificing of animals for some really bad stuff called Santeria if you guys don't know what Santeria is look it up we're gonna head down that road. I actually call that road Santeria Road because you never know what you're gonna find. So I'm on the way to Santeria Road right now and just to give you guys a rundown on what we could expect, I have found at the base of palm trees specifically, we've found bananas, burned bananas. We find animals in bags and you know there's animals in the bags because it just smells rotten and there's flies and maggots and just the worst possible stuff that you could think of and we just made it down the road um, I'm already seeing a ton of trash and the red ribbons that get tied to trees, which is also a part of it So we're already seeing some signs of this. Let me show you. Yep, I can smell it. I can smell it. It's nasty We got the red ribbon and then this bag right here Definitely something in the bag. Oh my gosh. What? It's really sickening that people leave this here, but oh my gosh I don't see any flies, but I don't know what's in that bag or that bag. I don't know which one is smelling, but yeah <sighs> Smells really bad right now. I just really want to get away from that. So I just spotted something really cool that I want to show all of you right now. So if you look right now in the canal, you can see there's all of these lines and all of these trails. So pythons, caimans, or alligators, or maybe even crocodiles, you can see the slides are just going all through the canal. It kind of stops right here, but it goes all along here. So you can almost follow the trail, but there's just so many of them. It's stuff like this right here that gets me really excited and pumped when I see this. I get gets my adrenaline going because a snake could be in the near vicinity. And if we see a snake inside of this canal, well, you'd already know. We're going to have to jump in. Do you guys see that right there? All of these boxes. You guys aren't going to believe what I just found right here. It's so cool. We're going to run right into it. There's a lot of them. And it's bees. I just found all of these bee boxes right here. But we don't wanna get them fired up because if I rattle the nest, all of these bees, probably millions of them are gonna go crazy, but I wanna open the bee box right now just to see. Oh wait, it doesn't, it doesn't even open up. I thought it was gonna open up. I'm not even sure how to open these up. Probably shouldn't even be. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, look at them. There's literally hundreds of thousands. I think I'm gonna get stung again and I'm gonna get really swollen, so I'm gonna stay away. The last time I was stung by bees, my face was swollen and blown up like a balloon for over a week, so I don't want that to happen again. That was literally terrible. But the reason why these bees are here is, is because all the farmers set these bee boxes up and the bees go out and they pollinate all the other fruit trees um, and crops that are around. But it's so cool, guys. Listen to the buzzing. Do you guys hear that? Look at that. This is so cool to see. And here, all the bees. Okay, one got too close. Okay, we're, 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 we're getting out of here. So there's this big pile right over there and I want to go check it out. It's a big pile of junk. I always like checking out the junk piles because sometimes I find some junk for my house. But mainly for animals because when you got trash and food that attracts other animals. So you can see, oh look right here, we've got a bunch of plastic which is some, one of the worst invasive species we have. Animals will become entangled in this plastic. And I wish there was something, I'm going to contact the county see if they can come out here and order these people to pick this up because this is just really sad to see all this trash like this but over in this pile right here oh my god look 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 at that i don't want to spook them i don't want to spook them look do you see that right there look look in the bushes it's moving it's a possum hanging out in the trash pile trying to find some food right now look at this little guy i don't want to spook him because he can disappear in a second into this grass but i just want to watch him look at this this is so cool i've never found a possum in this area before Something, buddy, I don't know, he's just kind of sitting there. What's wrong with this guy? This possum right here is not acting right. What are you doing, buddy? Hey, I don't want to spook you, so I don't want to spook him. But something is not right with this possum right here. Normally they run away, but this guy, something seems off. If you, I can already see, he looks kind of skinny right here on his spine. He's breathing extremely heavy. Another sign I'm looking at is his eyes right now. His, he looks kind of dehydrated. His eyes look a little bit sunken in. Him or her, I'm not sure what this is yet. Where there's one possum, there could be more, because if there's babies, if this is a female, she could have babies around that are kind of in the area. Normally the babies will kind of hop on the back. I don't think this little guy's going anywhere, but I just want to look around for babies right now, because again, if there's one, there could be more. This is actually crazy. A python hunt turns into a possum hunt. Didn't think that was happening. Normally the possums are not out during the day. It's only at night. Um, but 
Our buddy is still hanging out over by the Gatorade bottle. But I'm not seeing any babies over here. Well, actually, let's, well, what, before we look for babies, let's actually see if this is a boy or a girl, if he'll let me. Look at this possum. So see, this is the number one reason why we don't want our trash here. Look at this possum right next to this plastic bag, right next to this bottle. This possum could get his arm or his snout caught inside of the bottle. You can see it's an open bottle. And the possum could get wrapped up in the plastic, causing him to suffocate. But something's not right with him. You can see he's kind of entangled around this grass right now. Hey, buddy, are you okay? Hi. I'm feeling his spine. This guy is extremely emaciated. I can feel the spine, super skinny. But where I want to get to is the tail, because the tail is prehensile. And we're dealing with a boy. So this little boy would not be having any babies with him. We're gonna do a quick exam of the tail. And already off the bat, look at that, there's a tail injury right here. What's a good thing is these possums can't carry rabies and distemper, which is a really bad disease, but you can see he's not minding me one bit touching his tail. His tail looks like it could have some kind of an infection. So I cannot leave this guy here in good faith knowing he's gonna be all right. So I did not come prepared for this today. I don't have a crate, I've got a bin, but we can't put this guy in a bin because he'll just freak out. But I wanna pick him on up right now, see if he'll let me gently. I should have brought someone to film for me. You can see he's so skinny right now in the waist. I can feel his hip bones are just protruding out. Something is up with this possum. It could have a bad case of parasites, but look at this little guy doing this one-handed and he's trying to, to fight me. Hi, buddy. I know, this is the best I can do. So right now I set up the camera so I could safely handle this possum right here. But we need two hands to kind of safely handle him. He's definitely dehydrated, he's got some sunken in eyes, and again, I don't know if he's ever met a human before, but he's not trying to attack me. But you can see he's got these incredible canines on the side of him, so if he wanted to bite me, he definitely could do some serious damage. These guys are so cool. North America's only native marsupial that's getting me really good with the claws. We're going to the car, buddy. So North America's only native marsupial, meaning they have a pouch just like a kangaroo, so they'll carry their young inside the pouch. Uh, if they can't catch Lyme disease, they can't catch distemper or rabies. These guys are just really good animals. Okay, buddy, okay, let me put, do you want, do you want down for a second? Okay. These animals are really great to have around in your backyard. They eat all the pests, so if you have possums in your yard, don't get rid of them. They're great for you. So I'm going to call the wildlife rehabbers, a couple people that I know, to see if they can give me some help because... I cannot keep him. I don't have a native wildlife rehabilitation license. First thing is first, I wanna get him some water because he looks dehydrated. Nope, well this little guy, his bowels are definitely working. We've got some pee from him, which is a good sign. His bowels are working. So this guy could also be in renal failure. Possums only live about four years, so once they're about three, four years old, they get kinda of slow and fatigued like this, so this could just be an old age situation, but again, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna let the rehabber make that determination, but look at this. Oh, oh, this is another bad sign. This guy seems like he's got some kind of neurological damage. Look at this. He may have gotten actually hit by a car or a tractor out here in the fields, because if you look, he's walking in circles. Animals that walk in circles normally have some kind of neurological problem. It's really sad to see that this animal is like this. So I made a water cup for him out of just a plastic water bottle that I had since I didn't have anything else. Here, here you go, buddy. Here, would you like some water? Oh, I don't think he wants the water. Maybe if we pour it down for him. Up, come here, guy. Look, 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 get some water. Come, do you want water? No? Great news, so I just spoke to one of my friends at the Wildlife Rehab Centers and they have agreed to take this little possum in and try and give him the help that he needs because time is of the essence when it comes to saving our native wildlife. So I've gotta load this guy into the truck. I've gotta head out and hopefully we can save him. So I just got back home from dropping off the sick and injured possum at the Wildlife Rehabbers. I actually dropped them off at FWRA Center, which means they're a part of the Florida Wildlife Rehabbers Association. So that way I can ensure that he's gonna get the best possible care and hopefully be rehabilitated and re-released back into the wild because that is exactly what I want. So that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's python hunt turned possum rescue. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below a name and a prayer for this possum. And I'm gonna keep all of you guys updated as to what happens to this guy. And if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me, you wanna see more possum rescues, you wanna see tigers, lions, turtles and tortoises and all kinds of crazy animals. Well guys, all you have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post 